If your home isn't organized and it's cluttered and messy, it often affects your mood and your mindset and you aren't inspired, you can't focus, you can't think straight. And that's exactly what started happening to me. And no matter how much I'm moving things around and trying to restyle things, we just have too much stuff and we don't have room for it anymore. But as I began decluttering, little did I realize was that I too was going to be freeing myself from just holding on to things that no longer were used to me. I have had things in our apartment for well over six years. A lot of things I was emotionally attached to, a lot of things we had two and three of. It was like, why do we need this many things? Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and on this channel I share easy DIYs, home, and encouraging messages through a creative form and I am so grateful that you are here. What started off as a declutter with me video or me just literally organizing and getting rid of stuff in one room has now turned into a mini series that I am calling Declutter My Rental. Since moving into our apartment I have started and build my business from my apartment. Because my business circled around home decor, I have bought and collected so much home decor or have been gifted and I am so grateful for it. But we are running out of space. Even I, somebody who likes to keep things clean, is just feeling a bit overwhelmed. I'm gonna be taking you through parts of our home as I declutter, clean, reorganize, and I am going to be showing you all organization videos, it's gonna be clean with me videos, where and how I store my home decor, especially living in an apartment in a small space, and best places to shop for organizational items. And I'm just gonna be super vulnerable, open with y'all, show y'all the mess, show you what looking before, but the ending is so beautiful. Now this isn't meant to be perfect. We are not striving for perfection. We are striving for growth and change. So if you are encouraged to declutter and clean with me, have my video plan in the background. Leave it down below in the comment, which area have you decided to tackle? We can all clean and declutter stuff together. And you will see as you're getting rid of stuff that it feels so freeing. So that you won't miss out on this mini series, definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. That will notify you whenever I upload a new video. In today's video, we are gonna be completely cluttering our rental kitchen. Y'all, it's a mess. We live in a luxury apartment and our kitchen reflects that with the tall cabinets, lots of storage, drawers, and base cabinets. And it looks unthreatening when you look at it. It looks real good. But let's take a look behind all of these cabinets. I remember when we first moved into this apartment, I literally told my husband, I was like, oh, we ain't gonna need all of that. What do people even do with this space? They fill it up with stuff that they don't need. <laughs> at least we did. <laughs> Every single one of them are filled up. I can't even get like these inside of the cabinet because we don't have room for it anymore. So let's just start here. This cabinet was for all of our pots and pans skillets, cutting boards, tops, and there really wasn't a great system, but it got the job done. It was organized by like items. This cabinet is where my ice cream maker is and all of my waffle makers. We got some glasses back there and a can opener. This cabinet has all of my baking products. So a cake pan, muffin pan, bowls back there, all the way in the back. Cake pan and then a cake stand. So I would have to remove everything out of here just to get inside of there. And then this one has all of the ceramics and fragile items. Usually use a lot of this during Christmas and Thanksgiving. Why do I have so many ramekin bowls? popcorn bowl that y'all saw in the other cabin, the white one, should go in here with the like items, but we don't even have any room to do that. Our seasoning cabinet is very organized. Even got space all the way at the top. We have our baking, I don't know what the peanut butter is doing up there, ingredients, and then all of our seasoning. This cabinet is where we have all of our cups and mugs, or the majority of them. I hosted parties in our home in the past, which is why you will see like 20 plates 20 utensils, tons of cups, glasses, jars, because I was hosting for different seasons and I was hosting the big group. At the top, all of our glasses from when I first did a tablescape in our living room, like 13 glasses. The second one are seasonal mugs. It's fall, 
Easter and then all of our water bottles are on this side and these are our everyday cups and mugs. So I'm gonna have to go through this and declutter something. It's me a little sad. This cabinet, oof, I don't know what you wanna call this one. But starting from the top is a gravy bowl, plastic bowl, salt and pepper shakers, hand mixer, food chopper, and then more plastic bowls. This entire row ended up being my tea set. And then this bottom one, yeah, this, the, the, y'all, I'm ashamed, but it has to get done because this is gonna hold me accountable. If I show y'all that means I have to do this now. And then over here, this can't even close because what's in here doesn't even fit. In this cabinet are all of our plates, case stand, an ice cream bowl, our bowls, measuring cups, all of our plates, all of these plates. Some plates from our bridal shower, Easter, a husband needed a space for him, so this ended up turning to his little nook. And then these are the plates that we got from our wedding that we started off using and it just blossomed. In these drawers, we have our cookbooks, all of our cooking utensils. You have some cookie cutters, kitchenware, usable straws. I know where everything is, it's cluttered. And here we have towels, which I need to find a different way to store towels. I thought this would be a really cool idea, but in reality, it just takes up way too much room. This one is our medicine slash tea drawer. Our, our everyday utensils. Got a good idea, and I kept this from like my very first apartment. That is our kitchen in a nutshell. It's time to declutter. First thing that you want to do is clean out your space and I'm sure you've heard this so many times but it's true if you try to go out and get storage or organizational items and then declutter in the process it will get so overwhelming. The best thing to do is break it up a section to clutter, clean, organize and then go out and look for organizational products. We are at a place now where I can't bring another dish in here without getting rid of something. Today, I am going to just be decluttering. I just need to get rid of things like items, things that we really don't use or we elevate it from. Because I have a general idea of what's in these cabinets already, while I'm focusing solely on decluttering, I'm removing items that I want to donate, throw away, or sell, and I'm also putting like items together. This is not the end of how things are gonna be set, but I'm just trying to put like items in the same cabinet so when I do come back and organize it or bring in organizational product for the kitchen, I know where everything will be. It's already looking so so good. All the white space, oh, makes me very happy. I have these now so I can get rid of this bowl. These are all of the plates that I'm gonna get away. I did keep six of them. A lot of what we have decided to get rid of is a lot of the same items. It's about five of us all together, so we decided to keep five of everything just for extra when we do have guests over. I'm gonna donate this. It was one of my first teapot it looks beautiful it doesn't hold hot water much as I love it I have to let it go I got a lot of this from Christmas and I really like the teacup plates tea for one so here's my organized tea collection I'm going to get rid of these they are destroyed this I don't think I'm gonna get rid of. Look at this rose handle, super cute. When it came down to mugs, I have a slight obsession with holiday mugs. I narrowed my Christmas cup collection down to one, two, three, four, five, and six. My favorite one. My fall cups are right here. We're literally about to go into fall, so I just put that in front now. This is summer, so it's gonna go up there. We narrowed it down to a couple of water bottles. These are glasses that we still use. These are all the mugs that I have chosen to donate. Mugs, glasses, gave us so much space back. I feel really good about this, but not to mention that we still have dishes inside the dishwasher. Although we are decluttering, just keep in mind moving forward that if you are gonna buy dishware, baking wear, et cetera, that is at least dishwasher safe. Most likely, I don't wanna take the time to wash them. So, unfortunately, a lot of that had to go. things back in there that I know I'm going to keep. I'm not 
care too much about organizing or cleaning right now. I just need to get everything out. Like all I'm doing right now is the clutter. This is what we're keeping so far. Now, this cabinet. Looking like so far. I'm gonna get rid of this because it's definitely peeling at the bottom. I'm almost sure that is not safe. Probably gonna keep this one. This is a pretty large skillet, but I don't think we need it. Why does it look like this? A large skillet, so we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep this one. And then we're gonna keep this baby skillet. I have this always pan, which has everything in one, which I really like the skillet. We also have two cast irons, a lot cleaner. And I decided to keep two cutting boards of tree barks. This is the other set that went with the plates that I got for our bridal shower. I think it's time for me to give away these plates. These are the plates that I bought for my bridesmaids, but I never got a chance to use them. I'm probably gonna keep this. This is just a beautiful bowl. I really don't wanna get rid of them. And they just have so much sentimental value, so. This is gonna be a hard decision. Decluttering was a lot more hard than I thought it would be. And it more so was emotional attachment. I will literally have to sit there with it and be like, uh, but I can use it for this, but I can use it for this, and realize that I have not even used it in the last year or two. What ended up happening is I just start building up a collection of things that I'm not gonna use, but what I hope for. And sometimes it's not anything wrong with that, but too much to get to accumulate. we do use why do we need so many spatulas I'm gonna switch over from wooden spoons they're just hard to clean it the second you get dry eggs on these is over with okay. why do I have the same so far this is what I'm keeping inside of here this is gonna remind me to get um, utensils that all look alike we no longer have seven of the same items we have officially matured and got gold utensils so I think we're gonna finally get rid of our silver utensils these for about seven years. I got them from the dollar store. They worked. You can tell I had them for so long. It is time for me to upgrade. It's gonna be not long after that I'm going to need to replace them. Y'all, this is insane. This is insane. Everything that's up here we are getting rid of. I can't believe we had this much stuff. I mean, I can, but jeez. What I was doing was writing down all of the items that we would like to invest in that are better quality, like oven sheets, because our just keep rusting, and I need to figure out if it's something we're doing or we just need to pay a higher price to get better quality. We're in no rush to get these items as we are saving the old items until we replace them. We just wrote it down on the list to remind us. quite a bit of double items. We have two bacon powders, two types of bread crumbs, two container of parsley, so much pepper, so many different types of salt. I'm gonna go through all of these and make sure they have not expired and then begin putting them back into the cabinet. As I was looking at the parsley to see which one I should keep. This one expired February 25th, 2020. Y'all, I have nutmeg. The expiration date is July 7th, 2017. 2019. 2019. All of this season in fact is past its expiration date. I had no idea. 
And this is exactly why we are decluttering because we have things that we don't even realize we still have or that have expired. <laughs> So everything that we no longer want that is in fairly good condition, we are going to be donated and setting aside until we can take one big trip to the donation center. I think it's important to share that to declutter this kitchen, it took a total of 10 hours and an additional day. And to declutter the other rooms, it took close to two to three weeks. So just know that this was a process and I cut so much out, even though you see me speeding through the video. I don't want you to get discouraged because I cut a lot out, but I hope this encouraged you to declutter your space. Take the time that you need to do so. You have made it this far in the video. Y'all, what? A difference it made getting rid of so much stuff. I hope this encourages you to declutter space in your home that you have just been leaving unattended. I was intentional about specifically making this video a decluttering with me video because I realized that it's the first step before moving on to organizing or anything else. But then you're able to see things in a different light and it just gets you so pumped and excited about the next step. So freeing, y'all. So again, do not forget to let me know down below what room are y'all tackling if you're cleaning with me. So don't forget again to hit that notification bell for the next Declutter My Rental video. And as always, y'all, thank you for being here. And I will talk to you guys later.